Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Saturday. Uh, later than I wanted to, but hey. Oh, second day to start field up there. Okay. So we got three days, ten hours. So that's what that's eighty two hours. Eighty two hours, man. I fixed my character too there. Um I changed his look a little bit and I uh, was able to save it and put back his name as Jedi there and level twenty nine. And it's so we got 80, 82 hours in. Uh, I'm only level 29 right now. I'm not sure what it goes up to. Um, I know Fallout 4 went up to like. I, I, don't, I don't even know if there was a cap, you know. Uh, I don't even. I, I, I didn't actually. I think my highest character was like 103, but I know that I think Doc and Nim had characters that were way better, way higher than that. Uh, like 200 and something, 300 maybe. So, uh, I'm not sure about this game. I actually never even looked to see what uh, what does it go up to. So, I don't know. Um, let me just make sure everything is... Okay, audio is down on that. Okay. Just hold on. Uh, make sure there's no other audios. I thought I was hearing something, but... Oh, well, that's off. Okay. Okay, I don't know how long I'm going to be on for that. I am. Like, even though my nephew was the one that was doing all the work there, I'm pooped. <laughs> you know, like, you know, uh, I don't have a lot of energy. What's this thing here? That kind of looks neat. I don't know what that is. Nautical compass, eh? Huh. Really? I can actually take it? I have been idle here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe this state as bored. <laughs> bored. That's, that's hilarious, man. Oh, that's really funny. It's too bad I can't bring uh, Noel. We need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. You know what I mean? See, I was hoping I would, I can get, I want, I want Sam's jacket and his hat, you know, and, uh, I didn't, I didn't get that, you know, um, so, uh, I, maybe I, I can go somewhere and buy, uh, I can go somewhere and buy it. Okay, so, I probably have some weapons I may want to get rid of, eh, yeah. I got, I got, okay, no, I got, that's just one, okay. Uh, I got the dead eye, okay. Is that the one they... I think that's the one they gave me, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, so I tried this thing out, okay? Man, do I... Do, it's it's an amazing weapon, but holy crap, do you ever go through rounds? Because, like, it's... It's rate of fire is 300, right? So you just chew up freaking ammo, but it... <laughs> man, is it ever good? It is freaking powerful, man. It just rips... I got a lot of these freaking guns. Yeah, I got a lot of guns I got to get rid of. Okay, so am I am I over encumbered? Oh, I'm not really. Oh, surprise, surprise. Um, I get rid of get rid of that. That. Got a farming hat that, oh, that I was wearing earlier, and my poncho. Um never mind. Sorry. So I was I did a bit uh I was able to do a little bit of research and stuff and uh, I was able to work on my a little bit of my suit. Uh do I I think I might have actually have a, a skill point. Oh, I do have a skill point. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to look at uh so I did the this one here, but it says I got to craft five spacesuit, helmet and or pack mods. Um and uh, I don't think that did I did I do it? No, I did. It's still locked. Okay. Um, 
So there's weapon engineering. I, sh I probably should take the weapon. You can improve weapons, mods. Uh, uh, you know what? That's what we're going to do. Crap. Take the weapon. Now. Hey, Nag! How's it going, man? I just, just started there, buddy. So you, you haven't missed much at all. Okay, so this is the weapon mod bench. Okay, so let's go there. I'm still getting used to these uh, workbenches. I find they are uh, they're a little weird. Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie; they're they're definitely different. I think what it is right now is just I, I'm missing a lot of um, I'm missing uh, components, right? Ooh, I can put a short scope on there. Oh, I might like that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Put a short scope on that. <coughs> Keep the armor piercing rounds because that's definitely. Yeah. So I need, still need to do research on that. Okay. Can you actually improve the cutter? No, I, no. I think it's a dead eye. Short? I don't want a short barrel. Ooh, I can do a tactical grip. So penetrating rounds are installed, so I probably want to keep log. If I can get armor piercing rounds, I'll put those those ones on. It's <laughs> uh, some of the things that you come up with are funny. I was able to do, I think I was able to do the extended one on that. Um, iron sights are already installed. Muzzle. See, I think what it is is that I, I and I'm already tracking, but I think, um, you know, so it says required research, you know, so I have to, I still have to do more research. So let's, let's get out, let's back out of here. And then let's go back to the research station and see if I can do more research. So, so step one is basically kind of like um, getting getting the perks, okay? And then once you get the perks, you got to come over here, and and you need to do research, which unfortunately like it, it does require components like material. So you do have to go out and start mining, you know. So like this one here, nickel eight out of I you know I I didn't get all of it lubricant. I need to get some lubricant, you know, don't we all? So, but it, uh, it turned out I got all, I got all that done. So mod two, so uh, so that's good. And let's try this one here. Usually, when it says block, it says uh, it's it's it just re it's missing requirements. So uh, usually, that means I have to uh, get uh, I have to level up the perk, right? So and, and and so when you're doing the perks, okay. So there's four ranks. Each each perk uh, or skill has four ranks, and uh, it's so when you level up, you get a skill point. But you can't just spend it. You have to make sure that you completed the challenge, okay? So, uh, you know, and, and if you haven't completed the challenge, well, unfortunately, see, I'm, I'm out of uh, I'm out of uh, aluminum, so I can't finish that one. But it tells you this one's at 77 percent. This one, uh, I know I haven't done yet, so we'll see. Three out of five. So I need tungsten and aluminum, okay? 
and and titanium. Obviously, I'm out of titanium now. So, so in order to do to finish those, I have to uh, I have to I have to go and get more materials. So you actually have to go out into space, like land on a planet, and actually mine the stuff. Or I can just go and buy it too. There's nothing stopping me from buying. Um, uh, so this one here, Old Earth Cuisine One. Uh, I don't know if I have anything. Oh, okay. There it is. It's done. Okay, yeah, nice. So I need cosmetics. I need to get that. I, I, can't, I can't remember what that is, but all right. So I've done all the um, all the research that I can. Uh, what's kind of so there's two things that are, are kind of slowing me down for that is uh, you know, obviously one is the skill the skill tree, right? So you come here. Okay, so weapon engineering. I only have the rank one. So to unlock rank two, it says complete the previous rank challenge to unlock the rank. Okay, so uh, this one is craft five weapon mods. Okay, so I have to do five. I don't know how many. It, it says how many did I do? Two. I got two out of five. So I got to do three more weapon. Um, uh, make uh, t three more weapon mods, and then it, rank two will be unlocked. And if I have a skill point, I can take it. That's kind of like step one. Then step two, once that's done, then you gotta you gotta go to the research and you gotta research it. So it it can get uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's it's pretty lengthy. It's not like Fallout Four where you pretty much if you have the materials you can just do it right away, right? Uh, so like right now, I don't ha I don't have aluminum, so it's probably not gonna be really any point. Uh, I have had adhesive. I need titanium and aluminum and other stuff so I'll have to go out and, and, uh, and mine that. So I'll we're gonna we're gonna have to go and do that. Like I have I have money so I could probably just go to a vendor and buy some of that stuff that I need. You know so um we got a whole bunch of quests too there yesterday when I was playing, uh, like even just during the stream, and then and I, I kept on playing last night, like off stream, and like I said, I changed the character uh, a bit, not too much, but like obviously I, I, I kept him as a male, but you know, uh, changed the you know it's oh here let me take his hat off there. So I changed the color of his hair instead of being gray. I changed his beard. Just this, I changed his face just a little bit because I thought he, he looked kind of funny. So now this guy kind of looks a little, little more rugged. He is wearing the, um, uh, what are they called? The, is it, are they called the Rangers? Is that what it is? Yeah, Ranger Deputy. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a deputy. Right now. Oh, you were at work. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I was wondering where you are. You know, you because he didn't. Red, red, uh, red popped in there. He was he was in the stream for quite a bit there, and uh, he was watching me uh, play and whatnot there. And Indy was in. Um, Doc was in. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, play along. You know, that's what I. That's what, a lot of times. That's what I like. I was doing that last night when when Cass and Nim were, were playing. Uh, State of the K2 with uh, Bronco and Claire. I was uh, I was playing uh, Starfield while uh, while watching uh, her stream there. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, I want to put the hat back on. I just wanted him. I didn't like the look uh, when I first created the, this character. This is the one that I, I did on September. I wanted to. Change his face a bit, you know, not much. I uh, changed the color of his eyes. 
Because I really didn't go through the character creation really a lot. So, um, you know, I, I should have. But uh, for some reason, I just, I didn't, I didn't take enough time. Uh, like, uh, like I, Nim, Nim took, Nim took time when he, when he did, uh, when he created his character. I think Doc too, as well. Shy Lude, hey, how you doing? Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. Do appreciate that. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if they have any money here. Oh, they do. They got 5,000. Nice. Okay. I got some guns I gotta get rid of. Which one is uh which one is this? Where did I get this? Specialized Bridger. Oh okay, so it's it's one of those, okay. I can't sell it because he doesn't have enough money. And I got another one, I have two of them. Oh, huh, really? I'm gonna sell that one. Cause I have this gun over here, that's my shotgun. Uh, it's even though it's but it's got like five out of six mods so laser sight reflex sight muscle break tactical stock slug shot and uh, it's it does 156 damage and it may not be a rare or epic or, or legendary but that it, it's a freaking good shotgun so I don't need uh, the these ones here well that's a those are grenade launchers so it's not really the same but I don't really care for the grenade launcher like you know I just I can't he doesn't have any money, so. Yeah, so I'm going to probably switch ships there. Uh, I'll probably switch to the other one, the other one that I stole. And I might uh, I might go into the ship builder and see what I can upgrade. Hey, Indy, how's it going, man? How are you today? Whee! <laughs> uh, I've never done that in third person before. It's kind of cool. Wee, wee. I'm like Buck Rogers, man. Uh, it's just funny. Like you don't see other people around. Like they don't have a jetpack, you know. But here, here I am. Wee. <laughs> I just think that's just hilarious. That's so funny. Okay, she's got five thousand. Okay. Okay, so uh, packs. I know I have an extra one here, which I don't want. Got a helmet. I don't want. Okay, so uh, yeah, so check. Okay, I'll check. I'll tell you. I'll show you thereafter. Uh, to to to. I'm gonna keep hazmat suit. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, I don't want that. <coughs> Alien tick display. What? That's gross. Where did I get that from, man? Eh? The hell? Alien tick display. Oh, deck of cards. Have a globe. Empty half globe display. Okay. Uh, uh, that's that. Uh, that's okay. Pill bottle. Soil box. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, okay. I, I probably should get. Uh, let's see what ammo she has. I know I'm gonna need these. Um. Probably. Get, I should probably should buy more of those. Um. I need some of those. Um, here, let's let's go back to my weapons here and see what they have. So that one uses I got two fifty nine eleven mils. That one I don't care. 
the dead eye uses 7.5. I don't think she has 7.5s, so I, can, I need more 45s. I'm good for 43s. I'm good for those, okay. Um, so freaking bloody expensive, man. So she doesn't have the 7.5s, which is too bad. Um, what does she have as far as resources? I always need adhesive. Um, aluminum I need. I know I need titanium. sure what else I might need but titanium I think there was something else I needed but I can't remember right now okay I don't think I have anything else I really need to, that I can that I can spend um, check my ammo here well I don't need the 27 cals Those are, the, those are the ones I do need. These ones I don't think I need. Oh, I can't remember. I don't, I don't think I need those. I don't want those. Don't need those. Don't need those. Don't think I need the caseless shotgun shells. Um... So, what's the one that I do need? Um, okay, so actually, I could actually go, now that she has more money, uh, no, so, um, yeah, this one, I don't need this. Get there to get rid of that. So I got my tombstone, my dead eye, my uh, explosive te uh, ten mil. It's, well, it's not really an explosive ten mil. It's it is. It looks similar to the explosive ten mil in Fallout, but it's actually. Doc says it's a nine eleven. Um, basically, so it's uh, this one's an XM twenty three eleven, um, but it's an explosive one. But you know, I got this one off uh, a nasty freaking zealot. But uh, it's it, this thing is really freaking amazing. Then I got uh, the, my regulator, 177 damage, and then I have my shotgun. I'm trying to reduce the number of uh, weapons that I have because you know all the weapons are really good. But how far are you? well? I'm about 82 hours in. I'm level 29. Okay, and I barely scratched the surface of this game. Like I mean. Now, it's it's alien dick display. <laughs> what? <the? laughs> All right. Okay. Appreciate the business. All right. So, um, yeah. So let me uh, uh, status. I guess. Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So, uh, locations of Sky 166, Explore 51, Days Pass 52, this, those are 8 hours. Kind of shows you a little bit of stuff, you know. So, I visited 40 systems, Planets Scan 51, Planets Fully Surveyed 9, Planets Landed on 46, you know, and it goes on and on. And um, farthest grab jump, 20 light years. Ships, I have four ships registered right now. Uh, so, uh, you got your missions. I've done, uh, 43 quests completed. Uh, activities completed 39. Uh, main quests completed 5. Like, you know, but it's, it's, there's just so much to really do in this game. 
you know, to be honest. There's a lot to do. What I wanted to show you guys is this freaking new spacesuit that I got, okay? Now, I had a legendary one. Now, if you look at the top stats there, so you got physical, energy, uh, and uh, EM, right? Well, the one that I had that was legendary were half. Some are even three times less than what those ones, those numbers are. The only thing that was that lowered a bit was the, uh, the you know, the thermal corrosive airborne radiation. That that's a little bit lowered, but nonetheless, uh, I I had to switch, even though it's just a rare. Uh, like it's just a, to me the perks that I got on the legendary one, I don't have it anymore. I, I think it's at the lodge right now. I think I put it in my uh, my uh, my safe at the lodge. I just figured that uh, this would be better. Again, so 120 resi physical re resi damage, energy damage, 300, you know, it's just overall a better, a better space suit, you know, so that's why I decided to go with that. Besides, I got some good stats with my 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 pack and my <coughs> my uh, my helmet. They they because they're both of those are, are legendary, so I get good stats from there. So that's what I decided to do. Because I was like, holy crap, man, that's a freaking awesome. That's an awesome suit, you know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so. So this is the ship. I uh, I called it uh, the Nebuchadnezzar from the Matrix, and uh, it currently has uh, one thousand six hundred and thirty nine cargo space. So definitely a big kick ass freaking cargo hold uh, cargo ship. You know that's for sure. Uh, I want to change some things on there so I can actually even like even do put more cargo space on there if I can. Um, but yeah. So here's the first ship. This is the first ship in the game you get. I I kind of I did color it a little bit. I I, mean, I kind of made it kind of funky, and uh, I'm not sure how much I actually changed on it. To be honest, I don't I don't recall what I did if I actually made any changes to it. I don't think I did. So so this is the other ship. This is the uh, the one that I bought. Okay, and. Uh, I didn't realize that it was it, it's it's a medical frigate it's a medical ship and uh, so I might actually just sell that one I'm gonna see if I can just sell that because it's I I'm not I'm not even using it I don't even think I I don't make I don't think I made any changes to it other than maybe adding one extra weapon I know this is the second one I bought and it's a kind of a, it's a small ship. It's not very big. I made a lot of changes to this one, uh, and uh, I I might still keep it just to play around with, just to get better uh, using the shipbuilder uh, menu. So just to change things up, you know, take all the pieces apart. I take the entire ship completely apart. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this ship just to, as a kind of as a training. A training ship to get better at using the ship builder, and this is the one that we're going to switch to. This is a uh, a pi it's a pirate ship that uh, the eclectic or something or whatever epileptic or I forget what they're called. I stole this ship, you know, from them. Well, the pirates, right? You know, and uh, so I did add some uh, fuel. I added some fuel tanks because the fuel was really low. Um, and I couldn't jump very far, so I had to add uh, some fuel tanks, and uh, so I did that. I think that was pretty much all I did, Other, and I colored it a little bit, but uh, that would definitely need more work. But we're gonna we're gonna switch to this one once we get uh, back to the ship there, because I got to talk to the guy for that. Um, yeah, so. Um, I need to. No, I think. Uh, I, and um I think she must be on the ship. I, I, I'm gonna have to see. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. So, uh, oh no, actually, we can just actually just walk there because it's right over here. 
but I think she's on the ship. Damn, incident about kicked you. Oh, damn. Sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. So, um, so you have uh, you have an Xbox One, right, Negs, or is it an X Xbox One X? I know, Indy. I think you have an Xbox One X, right? And so you're just doing the cloud gaming through your through your console itself. Like I know you can do that. I, I personally, I I haven't tried because I I do cloud gaming through uh, my PC. I'm just hey, just wondering. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Xbox One X. Okay. All right. Well, that's no, that's not so bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. No problem. It's too bad you can't uh, you can't hardwire uh, your internet to your uh, Xbox One X instead of using Wi-Fi. Um, you know. Uh, make home ship. There we go. Alright, okay. So, this one is, it's still a big, you know, it's relatively big ship there, but it's just, it's not as big as the other one. It's, I, you know, it's just, it was too crazy having such a, a big ship like that. And it was like, geez. I'm not overly, I'm not too used to, like, this one has the same... Uh, I don't know what you call this. Uh, uh, there's a name for it. I, I'd have to go with the shipbuilder to, to see. Hey, I named it Blue Balls. <laughs> uh, I named the ship Blue Balls. Because everybody was making jokes about the uh, the two ball uh, fuel tanks there that I put on the back there. figured why not okay so this is like uh, kind of like the bottom of the ship that when you first get in and it's it uh, it uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a, a medical bay and this is just like a, this is more like a cargo hold but I need to I need the ladder to get up So here, this ship has a whole pile of uh, weapon racks, you know. But uh, I, you know, Doc said that uh, they uh, did I close them back? I can't, you can't close them when yeah, that's weird. So she is on the ship too. Cool. Okay. So here, this cockpit is the same as my other ship that I, I, I had, that I just put away. It's the same ship, you know, really. 14 ship parts. Uh, and all these miscellaneous stuff, you know, I was, I was actually selling them. But there's really no point, because as soon as you make uh, a, a small change to your ship, or I think if, even if you don't make a change, you just go to the shipbuilder, or go upgrade or whatever all this stuff comes back it all comes back again this is really kind of annoying to be honest you know and the same thing over here I had I had a I forget what I put in the captain's locker I put something in, in this was on the other ship I bet you I'll find it it's probably in here somewhere um, can't remember where though it's probably gonna be in their miscellaneous Just can't remember what it, what what it was. Was it that I? Oh, I remember. Uh, what was it called? Heart of Mars, right? So I think that's under resources. Under H. Oh, did I lose it? Um, 
happy I took it out. Is it on? Is it on me? Oh, that's that's missions. Um, see, I can't remember what, which, which thing it was part of. So, no, it's not part of the note. So, no. I thought it was under. I don't know where it went. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe I have it at the lodge. I, I don't remember. It's possible um, that I put it in the safe. I, I just don't. I just don't remember. But I know I had I had something in here. I'm pretty sure it was the heart of Mars. It's just a big chunk of raw rock. It was for a quest, right? So. All right. Okay. So missions. Go to Paulvo's orbit, where hope is built. Okay. So we can probably do that. Oh my god. Tried Cloud a few times on uh, med Medieval Dynasty. It only really worked once, but then, yeah, got booted after 20 minutes or so, yeah. Oh, it has an Xbox One version. Oh, that's cool. Well, this is the thing about, uh, you know, uh, you know, cloud gaming, right? You know, you, it's your internet. It's so dependent on good internet. You have to have really good internet, and, and whatever device, whether it be your PC or your or your console, should be hardwired. You shouldn't be using Wi-Fi. Is not going to cut it, right? For cloud gaming, it just it just won't. Uh, so yeah, and just point out from this is coming from an IT guy. This this is this is stuff that I've been doing for 25, 30 years, you know, so I, I know my stuff, you know, and I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, uh, Wi-Fi is good for certain things, but uh, uh, that's why my, my both my PC and my Xbox are both hardwired with, a, with an RJ45 cable directly to the uh, modem. Everything in the house is, is, uh, is Wi-Fi. And, and which is fine. Like I have my TV when I watch, like you know, Disney Plus or Prime or that. That's all through Wi-Fi, and it works great. It's fine. But uh, when it comes to my PC and game, like gaming, I tend to want to have my the full bandwidth that's available to me hardwired. You know. So, but anyways, I uh, I, I just need to take a quick little break there, guys. And uh, yeah, I won't be long, and then we'll get started. Uh, and I'll be right back.
Okay. <laughs> so enjoying so much bananas. <laughs> Nah, we're pretty much used to you guys now, so I, uh, well, you know, what's the point, you know? Anyways, like I was saying earlier, like, you know, yeah, your internet really is a big factor when it comes to cloud gaming. So it's, uh, it's like I think uh, when uh, when it's the same thing with streaming, right? I think when we when we first started streaming, I think Sparky was streaming. He was using his Wi-Fi. And eventually, I told me when he got his his uh, internet all hooked up, like uh, it, like because he had issues with his internet, and he, they finally came out and fixed it all. He ended up uh, getting pretty good. I think it was like a hundred down and a hundred up, which is doesn't sound a lot, but that's actually really good. And uh, he ended up hardwiring his Xbox, so when he was using the Twitch app on it, it just his streams were so much better and. Uh, but then, not long after that, he stopped. But it, it it's the same it's the same same thing, right? You know. So. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know what which one this uh, cloud gaming used the most. Is it download or is up upload? I can't remember. Um, uh, I I probably have to look into that. So 100, 100, 100 down and 10 up. Yeah, that's a that's a little on the low side. That uh, that's definitely a, mine is something like 500 down and 30 up, and uh, I I have no issues with uh, with cloud gaming, and I'm and I'm doing it from my PC, and uh, it would probably be the same. It'd probably be just as good on the on the on the, the series. There's just no point for me to do cloud gaming on my Series X. I'll just play my game on my Series X, right? <laughs> you know, so, but uh, oh, look at that! That's a kind of cool ship. It's a Free Star Rambler. Hey, dude, getting a little close to me there. Damn, freaking pirate! Man, people don't know how to fly, man. All right. Okay. So let's pick our mission here. I just want to go into space first. Okay. Where hope is built. Yeah, I tried to even I, I tried to change the color of those fuel tanks there. talking about we're already on our ship Jeez. Ship, ship, man. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I 
we can't give you the Grand Tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. The bastards got the drop on me. Ran them off, but they got a few goods. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. Priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. You gotta love her. By the way, Andrea, seriously, like, you know, goddamn better wind, door in the window there, whatever. Hmm. Alright, let, let's go back. Uh, is it this way? Yeah. Uh, ladder. Why are you following me around? This is one cool fucking ship, man. Must admit, I like it. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. If they make it back to their hideout, they might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miyako. Good hunting. Alright, okay. There we go. So we know where we're going. Oh, thanks there, Nags. I appreciate that. You know, it's always nice to get a, you know a little bit of feedback on on how the stream looks and whatnot and sounds. You know, because right, you know. I, I the only time I can tell is if when I look at a when I'm when I'm done, I'll go through it and you know I don't watch the whole thing. I skip I skip a lot there, you know. But I you know I go through it just to make sure everything is sounding okay. I don't do that all the time, but you know I'll I'll look at you know every couple of weeks I'll. 
I'll look at a, at a VOD just to make sure that all my sounds are good and whatnot. So, but uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're looking for. Oh, I forgot. I already forgot what she said. Um, me Miatha. So we have to go to Miatha. Where's Miatha? You say it was a moon, right? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> we don't take prisoners. Bastard, eh? Their grab drive is crippled. They're not escaping. Ooh, look at all the helium three on there, man. Oh, it's that's a that's a rich planet full of uh Ned D. I, mean, I don't know what that stuff is, but uh, it does have a lot of helium three. Look at that. Probably land there. Put a put an extractor on there, and it's, or maybe maybe over here would actually probably be better. Land here somewhere. Try to extract all the helium three. We need to do that for sure. coming here I guess I don't know maybe I did smugglers always like to use hope tech ships to resemble legitimate transports Look at that. Oh, my my mass is only 78 out of 190. I managed to get rid of so much stuff. And that's that's a first for me, like really, to be honest. You know, I've got more aid than anything else. You know, don't even need really that much aid, but you know. Hey. Hey. Uh, dude. Oh, I can I remember I did come here. I came here to buy a grab drive. That's what I I had a quest. But most of it is legal. <laughs> it's fun. Let's see if I had uh, Andreja uh, as any smoochy smoochy. Uh, Shall be sure. 
sure to say it more often. I appreciate our little discussions. Not 100% sure, but I think we're getting married at some point. I don't know. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. <laughs> You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Pretty we did. Lying, it's pretty much true today, you know. This is 300 years in the, in the future. She's kind of cute. <laughs>
do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hometown and start planning the next heist. chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. I've chosen to place my faith in Free Star Rangers instead. should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Yeah, the question of who helped the Starship Thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in the end. What? 9,300 credits? Woo! I'm rich! <laughs> How do we get out of here? Um, go down over here. Um, 
past these offices. I think we went through here, right? And I think we went this way. And then yeah, down over here. And did just buy dinner? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not even had her butt mention that. Like you know, that's that's that's. Not... It's a tough town. Yeah. But things are freaking expensive, man. Like in, in this game, holy crap, going. man. Anyways, that I was gonna say that that voice actor that was doing the uh, Mr. Hope there. He sounded really familiar. I think he's done Bethesda games before because his his voice. I'm pretty sure I've heard before. I'd have to Google. I'd have to Google it there just to see. Oh. Water all over me. I don't know why I'm doing that. This is free star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. <sighs> Phew, excuse me. Hey Zara, how's it going, man? Uh, you doing? Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I gotta go to the free star guy. He's over here. Excuse me, man, I was freaking yawning like I don't know, like crazy. It's not like I did anything today, like my nephew did all the work, man. Hey, I don't care who you work for, you can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. The marshal's message said you were following a lead without a stolen ship. The truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping it secret. Whether your 
first stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, little Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you. Don't expect a favor, even if it doesn't cause credits. Nothing in the honest way. Come on. I'm, I'm a little tired to uh, like uh, I don't know we uh, here I, I want to save my game there give me a sec there because I don't think I've saved it in a while here hold on <coughs> so we went to Home Depot we went and got a bunch of uh uh, fence boards and uh, you know I got a couple boxes of nails there and uh, my, my nephew is a, fr a framer by trade there he's doing landscape right now but he's still kind of doing you know a little, a little bit of you know carpentry work there on the side you know here and there and uh, so he was like he did all the work right like you know uh, he's he's a young lad he's I think you might be 25? 20, yeah, 25, 26 maybe? He's younger than my son, but older than my daughter. <coughs> and uh, he's got all the tools too. I, uh, and it only took him like three hours to do what I wanted it there to, to, for the back fence, uh, help reinforce it there. And I had to get 35, we got 35. Um, what were they? Thirty? They're thirty-five. I know they were eight feet. They were one by one by threes, one, one by three or one by four. I can't remember. And uh, so we we had like obviously he had to cut them because we only needed six. They don't need to be six feet high. So he cut he cut them all and, and then put them all on the back fence there and uh, then worked on the our our, uh, our our gate needed some work. Then the other, the other side, uh, where the gate, is, the other gate is, needed some work as well. Uh, so yeah, but like uh, the guy was out there, just you know, I was sitting at the patio, you know, kind of watching him and listening to music and whatnot. But you know, I don't know. I'm just so freaking, I'm tired, man. I don't know. Why. Like, I did some things there. I did a little bit of work, but he he did all the he did all the. Did all the woodwork stuff there. Dark. It kind of, kind of moffed in mid sentence. That was kind of funny. You understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind. You'll fit right in. Ugh. Oh, you got. Who's 
here's the thing. Neon's got no end of ship jackets. I see them come and go every day. Stuff for that to remember one from the other. <laughs> Everything in Neon is in price. Yeah. Credits ain't really what I need. There is something we can do for you. If you ask me, there are better uses than credits. <laughs> I can help you. But right now my life is in danger. I haven't even done anything wrong. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent right? about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emma Goodman. Now Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. An all too familiar story in this city. Yeah, but I never thought I'd be part of one of your stories. I did my best to stay out of trouble. Wasn't sure where I was going. Before I do anything, though, I want to uh, I want to put that gun on <laughs> in case they get into a firefight. Now. Uh, they don't have a lot of rounds, but. Can't smell anything there, Andrea. I don't know what she's smelling, but so better you have a smell of vision. Yeah, of course. After I gave it, <laughs> after I gave a thousand credits. <laughs> Luckily, I have a lot of money now. Uh, okay, so we gotta go this way. I do not 
not find that very amusing. With your attempt to appeal to my good nature, you are proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this, anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Seriously? Well, in that case, I'll consider the matter closed. You can tell Mr. Clayton he'll have no further trouble from me. As for you, Pedro, I'm aware the Rangers have a reputation for goodness and nobility, but I'm surprised all the same. Yeah. Whatever, scumbag. Can I have some money then? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I kind of forgot how I got down here. <laughs> uh, I seem to recall taking an elevator, but I don't remember where the elevator was. I've been to Neon before, but just just the main little part. Like I haven't. This this is all like new to me, man. This whole this whole area. Like.
Okay, I don't think... I don't think I can get that way. Yeah. Holy crap, there's a lot of people, man. Back there, uh, Nick. I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested when you're asking for the most noble to go and read. What? You think this stuff falls from you? You don't the have sky? places like this in that pila. That's for sure. Okay. Hello. Pulsion specialist. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, sure they do. I'm I'm not good at this. Disappointed, given how they paid me. 
not so much as a hint. I tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Hey, you didn't mean to tell me twice. <laughs> Do play cyberpunk? Yeah, I, I did. Um, I actually um, I think I created a, a, another character. Um, and uh, give me a give me a sec there. I'm gonna take my headset off there. I'm gonna take a quick little break there. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, that's another game I would like to try out in the series. Uh, yeah, I did, um, and I want to get back to it because uh, there was a DLC or something on. on uh, uh, so. Um, I think I think you can still probably play it through the cloud though. I'm not no no way to no cyberpunk you can play on the older uh, consoles. Yeah, DLC is PC and next gen only. All the all the DLC really that don't make no sense. Why would they would make a DLC for cyberpunk but not have it for the that's weird and maybe for the update too. Well. I know for the the Fallout 4 update, that's definitely going to be next gen. That's a next gen one. I know that. But uh, for the Cyberpunk one, I don't know. I'd have to find out. But uh, yeah, I did. Driving in the game is a little weird for me. Um, apparently, uh, driving a uh, uh, riding a bike, you know, uh, is easier. Um, but uh, I wouldn't mind getting back to it. That's it is an, it is another game there. That I need to get. Uh, Get back to it. I got it on sale. Uh, Sparky told me about it. I think. I think it was Sparky he told me about it. It was like really cheap. I got it for a really good day, a good deal. So I decided to buy it. And uh, but yeah, I have to probably uh, get back to that game. Uh, I want to get back to uh, Fallout 4 as well. There, I, uh, I want to do some building in, in Fallout 4. I was watching uh, Nemesis there of late. There, he's been playing a lot of Fallout 4, and um, so I've been kind of wanting to, you know, get back into it and try to do some building and whatnot. So uh, thinking about that, get back to my Skyrim playthrough because I made that new character, the Orc, and uh, so uh, that's kind of fun. I'm really uh, kind of enjoying uh, uh, that. That I, it's the first time I ever ever played as an Orc. Uh, so it's kind of it's different. It's interesting. I, I I do like it, and it's different, you know. So I wouldn't mind getting back to that as well. I think I made him look really cool. I took my time making him, so you know he looks he looks he looks cool. You know, so definitely uh, Skyrim for sure. I want to get back to that. All right, I'm gonna get another drink there, so I'm gonna be right back. Hope you long. Get any loot. I wonder if I can 
fall all the way to the end. I'm under the oh 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 <laughs> yeah I fell. <laughs> I'm falling. King Kong? Who was that? What the hell? What was that? That looked like a big ape. It's my uncle there. Holy jeez, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen a King Kong. Freaked me out. What do you do that time in Paris, bro? Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
Gotta go back to Kilo City, okay. Um, that one's already done, okay. Um, okay, here we go. Said here. Okay. <clears throat> Holy jeez, that plant's got all kinds of stuff, man. It's got helium three, copper, I think that's nickel, iron, oh I forgot what U what's U and V again? Uh, P T P D, I'm not really sure. Uh, pl pl platinum uh and that's copper. Uh, iron, nickel, it's got some nickel. Uranium, okay. Wow, that plant's got a lot of stuff on there, man. Right? A lot of resources. Oh, man, look at this here. Wow. And I actually need some of that stuff. I, I could probably put uh, an extractor on there. That'd be a good place to do that. And it happens to be in a system that I do have an outpost. Uh, so, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm going to do this uh, little mission and then I'm going to head off. Uh, I'm going to, I kind of just want to, I want to just uh, chill in the backyard, uh, bring the dog out. Um, yeah, the sun, uh, the sun uh, sets pretty early up here. Uh, we, we lose the we lose sunlight there by seven o'clock. It's freaking dark, man. Seven thirty, it's pitch black. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the the joys of living in Canada, man. You know, it's, it's all right. Okay. I love this gun. <laughs> this gun is so fun to use, man.
Ah, I'm freaking out of ammo. <laughs> it just it chews up so freaking much, so much ammo. It's incredible, man. Though. That's the only that's the only bad part of that. There is it chews up all the ammo. Where is he? Wait a sec, I need to check what's uh, extreme ambient heat warning, suit protection depleted. Okay, so I'm suffering from ambient heat, eh? Hmm, that's weird. Is it really hot on the planet or something? That didn't seem to do anything. I took too many of those. <laughs> Got 51 of those? Holy shit, I didn't know I had that many. Oh crap, ow, ow. So that guy's still up there, right? Uh, oh, <laughs> that was funny. Hey, Doc. <laughs> See the guy go fly? Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, I love that. The stores, the local dump, and the natural spring. Got 30 gallons of spring water in the car. Wow, okay. Hey, the turkey. Yeah, I think, yeah, was, was that was that in the list? I think, uh, I, think I uh, it was stuff that I made. So you could you could make food in the game, right? So there's alien jerky. Does uh, I got alien liquor uh, plus carry weight and but minus twenty five percent O two recovery for five minutes. So it's kind of got a give and take kind of thing there. An alien sandwich. <laughs> One of those. It just means it's made out of like alien creatures, right? You know, you find. That guy was actually, is he dead now? Why 
Why is that pointing to my ship? Hold on, let me check my quest again. I may not be on the right, I may not be on the same planet. I'm on the right planet. Weird. <laughs> oh, that, that never gets old. <laughs> That's just too funny. I love that. That's hilarious, man. Huh? Oh, please. can't get up there. It's too high. I don't know why the, 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 the marker is pointing me at my ship, though. That's, that's a little on the weird side. I'm on the right planet. I, maybe I'm not on the right place? I don't know. It pointed me here, originally, but... There you know, I got him. That, that was that, it's kind of strange that it was pointing me there, though. So uh, I got a concussive kadama. It's plus 200 damage against robots. Volatile rounds that are designed to pack a bigger punch, but aren't just a stable and can fail. I have a little lab, so yeah, I can, yeah, eh, eh, yeah, you know, eh, whatever. Not overly impressed by that. Still kind of strange that it pointed me. It was my marker was pointing me to my ship, though. So what we'll do is uh, we'll head to Aquila. Now, gravity on this planet must be a little on the heavy side. I need to get better. Uh, I need to put another point in uh, my boost pack so I could, you know, be able to go a little higher. I, I, I don't know, like, I'll show you, again. I didn't think it was really that great, you know, to be honest, like, personally for, for me, compared to some of the guns I do have, you know, like, some of the guns I do have are phenomenal, like, it's just that other one, it's, it's really freaking good, but I, it just goes, I go through so much freaking ammo, you know, it's crazy. So I have uh, Kadama, just a calibrated one, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, but this is the, the legendary one, and, uh, it, you know, it technically does the same... Actually, it does less physical damage than the gray one. But, uh, obviously, okay, you got a 20% chance against robots, but I don't fight robots that often, and I don't find them that hard to take down, to be honest, so I don't know. And I don't really care too much about the volatile run, rounds. That, I don't know, you know. And small chance to knock down your target. I don't really care about knocking down my, my targets, you know. Not, not really. Uh, but uh, like if I compare that one to some of like this thing here, 
it, it it's it's a ripper, man. It rips through enemies like crazy. But like, look at I'm already out of rounds. I had like a couple hundred rounds, and it's they're they're gone, right? So it's like, like you know, it's just gonna it will cost me so much money on just buying ammo for this gun, man. But it's really freaking good. It's it because the rate of fire is 300 it's so fast you know but uh yeah so what we're, i'm definitely going to keep it and i'm going to work on it and whatnot try to get uh maybe put a you know i think it does have a scope on it actually or a call but uh anyways we'll uh we'll head to aquila city so let's go to the star star map Which is in Cheyenne, so we gotta go all the way over here. Go to Cheyenne. What? Why won't it let me? It won't let me go to. That's weird. Why can't I try? I can't travel all the way over there. I didn't think Cheyenne was that far. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. Guess I wasn't clicking on it. Sorry. Going. Bye bye. <laughs> they always do that. I, I can't. I, I don't think I, I. don't know if I can stop it. Maybe I can stop the uh, the FTL drive there, the ground drive. But I was like, you know, sorry man, but I'm heading out. <laughs> Not much I can do. Uh, talk to you later. <laughs> I just wanted to get a little pew pews in there because uh, I was basically just doing like story, like the story mission stuff there for the 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 uh, uh, the, the freelance uh, like the rangers. Uh, I was just doing that, um, and I figured uh, like it's a really cool story. I'm re the, the stories are really cool. I've gotten a, like a long history to this place. Um, it is a testament to humans' refusal to concede defeat. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna save here. Like I got a, a couple, um, a couple of uh, the stories that like, not non uh, like not the main missions, just uh, you know other stories that actually are, you know, f you know, like, there's a certain amount of length to them. You know, they're not like these short little. It's you know you gotta go here, you gotta go there. Like I still have one that. I'm not finished yet, and then that one is, you know, I gotta, I gotta get back to that one as well. I got the one for the Vanguard. I, I still, I'm still doing that one. So there's, there's quite at least a few quests that have um, a much longer arc, I guess you could say, and uh, which, and they're really, they seem to be really well written. The dialogue is really, really good, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the game. It's a lot of fun. You know, you get to, I, I. I I am doing a little bit of outpost building. I haven't really gone into like getting the like a natural habitat yet, and that's my next thing because I, I do have the landing. Uh, I got the landing pad with the shipbuilder services. I've got the outpost um, the link uh, pad for uh, basically so they can pick up iron, and now I gotta just put a some kind of a habitat thing there, maybe send some people there. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, that, uh, that should be a lot of fun. You know, but I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna stay on there, because like I was saying, uh, we lose, uh, we lose light here pretty quick. It's already 5.30 here. I want to go out and just enjoy a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sun there. Like, I was out earlier today there, but I want to take the dog out and, 
and uh, and uh, and uh, just uh, enjoy some time out there. Um, let's see here. Who's on the list? That soul thing just started playing. She's got some. She's doing some Starfield. Okay, so let me uh, let me just do an SO. Okay, so it's soul underscore three SC four P three. So I got that right. I don't think I did that right, did I? Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay. Right Alright, so, uh, yeah, so we're going to raid Soul. So thanks everyone for being here. I do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably be on with it. It's more Sunday. Yeah, I might try maybe Fallout 4 or, or uh, Skyrim, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for, for being here. I do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Yeah, I'm heading out there, dog. <laughs>